Fox News psychologist Keith Abloh had a brilliant new idea on how to treat trans kids. Let's watch. We're not just talking about who's going to use which, which restroom. We're talking about whether closely held opinion of an individual will be allowed to overcome scientific data and history. This is the leading edge, some would argue, I might, of an unraveling of our culture and perhaps our ability to plan for the future as a species. Mm -hmm. So you're suggesting people can select their gender, they could select their race, they could select their age. How do we get to this place? We got to this place because we care about people. We don't want to hurt people's feelings. Okay, I understand that. We're also too politically correct. But look, there's not a lot of scientific evidence that it's better to approach transgender youth with the opposite hormone because we inject them with massive doses of testosterone if they're female to say, look, we'll make you more comfortable with your chosen gender. You know, we don't even explore. Should it be more estrogen? Mm -hmm. Should we go with nature and say, maybe we'll make you more female, you'll feel more comfortable? There aren't these explorations. We don't treat with psychiatric medicines, by and large, to say maybe this is a bit of a fixed and false belief. You idiot. They've tried that. How does he not know this? Are you kidding me? That's been the go-to move for so long when it comes to uh, not just trans people, but gay people, too. There's the stories of the parents taking their kids, and they think their little boy is a little too effeminate, so what do they do? Take him to the doctor, and get some testosterone, you know what I'm saying? Trying to man this kid up a little bit, and you know what happens? Unfailingly, it doesn't fucking work. You know what else they said? I mean, he he really argued, like, uh, it's crazy. We haven't even tried, like, psychiatric medication on these people. What the fuck are you talking about? In uh, the, the psychologist, what they call the psychologist Bible, the DSM, Diagnostic Statistical Manual, I forget exactly what it stands for, um, it, back in the 1970s, I think it was 1973 or 1976, it was only then that they decided that being gay is not a mental disorder. Before then, so all in the early 1970s, in the 1960s, 1950s, you go all the way back through history. Homosexuality was considered, oh, oh, you're, you're mentally ill. Oh, okay, so you like somebody of the same gender, but like, what's wrong with you? Ooh, terrible. He's like, you know, we haven't even considered psychiatric medication and telling them that this is a disorder and this is wrong. That's exactly what they've done throughout history, and it never fucking worked. Nobody ever said, oh, hey, you know... I really wanted Sean's dick, but then you gave me some, some SSRIs or some antipsychotic meds. All of a sudden, Betty's box is looking on point. Nobody ever said that. That doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. So, ironically, he's guilty of everything he's accusing liberals of being guilty of here. This is, this is projection. Like he says, you know, we're too politically correct. Who's really being politically correct here? You are saying... I, I need to control people's gender and, and how they view themselves and what the scientific reality about them is. So I'm going to say, hey, put them on meds or give them uh, the opposite of the hormone that they want. And I'm going to say, you can't go to that bathroom. You can't go to that bathroom. Like Ted Cruz was running ads against trans people to attack Donald Trump recently. Like, you're the one that's getting outraged. You're the one that's saying, I, I don't like this. So let's talk about this and talk about how oppressed we are when we're the majority and we're not oppressed at all. So you're the one doing PC outrage. You know what trans people are saying? Hey, look, I know what I am and I know what I want. So I was born male, but I have a female brain. I kind of know it. You don't. So uh, how about I know I want X, Y, and Z and just let me go to whatever fucking bathroom I want. And that's the end of the conversation. No, I don't like that. You're doing PC outrage. PC outrage. I'm just telling you the reality of who I am, but I don't like it. So you're doing PC outrage. Dude, they've tried your ideas, and your ideas sucked. They didn't work. Now look, if if somebody had proposed this at a time when we hadn't tried those ideas, I'd be open to it. Oh, okay, so it's somebody who's male. They say, I, I'm a female, I have a female brain. Well, you know, maybe you do give them um, testosterone and see if it makes them more masculine. And see if it makes them, you know, comfortable and happy. But then when it doesn't, I'd say, oh, okay, so that didn't work. <laughs> he goes, no, that must be the answer. You're, you're not. You're the other gender, damn it. Stop it. Why the fuck do you care? Why do you care? And to say that there isn't evidence that the opposite is better, that's just absolutely ridiculous. I know I've heard from the people before. 
I've heard from multiple trans people who've reached out to me and said, hey, look, I, I really like your show. I just wanted to say thank you because I think you actually stand up and give a voice to people like us who they, you know, very few people are actually out there arguing for us in the way that you argue for us, and I just want to say thank you. And then I've we've engaged in conversations, and they've told me, like, oh, no, you're totally right. Like, I was born male, but I know I'm female. My brain is female. So what made me feel better and what literally made me not suicidal when I was suicidal before when I got my surgery, you know, when I uh, went through these different steps to become what I know I am. So if that was what makes them happy, then why the fuck would you argue against it? Why would you argue against it? And the, the final point is, he really says there that, oh, the, the problem is they're arguing against scientific reality. But stop and think about that. If we really want to talk about scientific reality, wouldn't it be a scientific reality that trans people exist? But it's against nature. Whoa, 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 whoa. It literally exists in nature. I mean, what the fuck do you think this is? Trans people exist. Gay people exist. They're born, they're human, they exist in nature. That is by definition natural. It is natural for a certain percentage of a population of human beings to be either gay or trans or what have you, a variety of different things. So the real scientific reality is some people are born male and they have male brains. Some people are born female and they have female brains. Probably most people fit into those categories. Uh, some people are uh, born male and they're attracted to the same sex. Some people are born female and they're attracted to the same sex. Some people are born male and they have female brains. Some people are born female, they have male brains. That exists in reality. And only dickheads like him try to shame people and make them feel bad for how they just naturally were and how they were brought into this earth. Well, guess what? We're here to tell you there's nothing fucking wrong with you. Okay, the problem is with rigid, narrow-minded idiots like Keith Ablau, who proposes things that we've done forever that didn't work to try to fix trans people when they don't need fixing. They just need to be themselves and to not have assholes like him constantly judge them and tell them something's wrong with them when there's nothing wrong with you.